This tutorial demonstrates how to use the mail merge feature within the Mortgage Boss system. In Mortgage Boss, you can send mass email communications to any of your applicants or contacts by using our mail merge feature. This can be done by either going to the Deals module located at the top bar of your dashboard or the Contacts module. It really depends on the type of communication you are sending out. Once you have decided if this is a deals or a contacts mail merge, you will go to that appropriate module, deals or contacts. For this example, we will be going into the contacts module. The first thing you will do is go to the mail merge tab located at the top right hand corner of your contacts and deals module. Select the mail merge tab. Once you do this, you will be directed to a screen that displays all of the existing templates created by your marketing team and any past templates that you may have created. You can differentiate the type of templates by looking at the access column. If a template reads public, you know that this is one of the templates created by the marketing department. However, if a template reads private, you know this is one of your own templates you've created in the Mortgage Boss system. Once you find the desired template that you would like to use, you can select the checkbox to the left of the template name and click on the template to open it up. If you would like to make any changes to any of the existing templates, you can do this by using our drag and drop features on the right hand side of the template under the content section. All you will do is simply drag and drop these features over onto your template to add them. You can also edit the text within the existing template that is already present. If I want to change my closing message from cheers, I can simply click on the text and hit the trash can option. If I want to add new text, I will go to content on my right hand side, find the text option and drag it over onto my template. Now, before I release this, I want to be mindful of where this green line is. Wherever I release, my text will appear underneath this green line. If I release the text above the body, I will be adding my closing above the body. In this case, we want to ensure we drop the text underneath the body, just like this. Now I can add my own closing. Once you're happy with any of the edits you make, you can look at the top of the template and select the option that reads Save as New. Once you select Save as New, you will be asked to provide a template name and a subject line. The subject line will be the subject of the email that is sent out to your recipients. Once you select save, this second template with your edits will then be saved in your mail merge tab. This means that you are not overriding the original template that marketing has created, but now creating a second copy with your edits. Once you hit save, it will show up on that mail merge list with the rest of your templates. Alternatively, you have the option to create your own template rather than using an existing template. To do this, you will go back into the contacts section, back into mail merge, and this time you will select the option new template. Again, you'll be asked to provide a template name and an email subject line. Lastly, you'll be asked to decide a template selection. You can select start from scratch, which will give you a blank template to work with, or you can use one of our templates that is already sectioned off for you. You will use the drag and drop feature to create this template. And if you would like any assistance creating the template, you can always reach out to your marketing team. Once your template is built and you're ready to send it out, you may want to preview this first. To preview a template, go back into the module contacts or deals, and now you will select one of your contacts from the list. The reason that we are only selecting one contact is only to preview this template. 
Now I will go back into Mail Merge. I will open up my template. And now I can preview how it will look when it is sent out to this contact. If we look at the contact's first name upon previewing, you can see it really adds my contact's name. And this is how they will view the template when they receive it. Now that I am happy with the way this looks, I will go back into my contacts or deals module. And this time I will select everybody on the list that I am targeting. Once I have everybody selected, I will go back into mail merge and back into my template. If I scroll down on my template, you will see merge details. Under merge details, I can simply select send, which will send this email out right away, or I can schedule it to go out at a different date or time by simply selecting the scheduled date and selecting the date and then selecting a scheduled hour. This time you will select the schedule option rather than send. As soon as you select schedule, it will add this email to your email queue to go out in the future, just like this. The one thing I do want to point out is sending a deals mail merge differs slightly from sending a contacts mail merge. If we were sending a deals mail merge, go to the deals module and open up any one of our views. I could select the deals I'm targeting and then go back to the mail merge at the top right and open up my template. This time you will notice the send button is grayed out. That's because we need to determine who we are sending this mail merge to. When it is a deals mail merge, you will select the to section and provide a recipient group. Typically you will use either main applicant or all applicants. Main applicant will send this mail merge to the primary applicant of each deal selected. All applicants will send this mail merge to every applicant listed on the deal. Once you determine this, you can then select send or schedule it just like with a contacts mail merge. If you do need any assistance at all in creating your email templates, please contact your marketing department. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback about the mail merge feature, you can always contact the Mortgage Boss support team. This is how to create and send out mail merges through Mortgage Boss.